so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Sit down, sit down. Before you leave your house tonight, you got to figure out how we going to get to the venue. Do we drive? Do we take Uber? What is this Uber? Uber X? What is it? It's like hitchhiking with your phone. God knows what's going to pull up tonight to pick you up. Some guy in a Ford Festiva. <laughs> Groceries in the back, baby seats, sleeping back. Are you between errands? What's going on back here? <laughs> Uber black, that's supposed to be a better option. Maybe a guy in a sedan. You ever get in that guy's car? He can't stop talking about his candy. As soon as you get in, I got candy. <laughs> I got suckers, I got trident, I got iPhone 4, 5, 6, church. I got crest white strip. What? White strip? You can't tell me these Uber experiences are normal. They're weird, strange. They're rating you, you're rating them. Everybody's on some fake behavior. <laughs> you feel like you gotta talk to them when you get in? You know, so how, how long? <laughs> how long have you been doing Uber? <laughs> and they never just do Uber. They always got some weird side business. I ask them, so how long it? No, come on, my friend. I do Uber 10 hours a week. I got a real business. I got discotheque in Istanbul. What? <laughs> do you know where you're going? I mean... There's another website, Airbnb. What is this? You're gonna rent out a room in your house? to a stranger? Is it worth the $86 a night? Huh? Have some psychotic family show up at your bar and say, hello, do you? I couldn't do this. I couldn't have strangers live with me while I'm there. I couldn't do it. If I did it after they left, I'd have to burn the room. <laughs> they lived it. I don't know what's falling out of people's ears into the tempur Burn the mattress. I don't do this. I don't stay with people. I have some friends here in Montreal. Oh, just stay with us. We have plenty of room. I ain't staying with you. <laughs> you ever stay with people? It's weird. They put you in a weird room, single bed, Star Wars sheets. <laughs> Nothing works in the house. They got to come in and tell you, don't flush the toilet in the hallway, okay? If you do, we're going to have to evacuate the house. <laughs> what? When you take a shower, cold is hot, hot is cold. We've been trying to fix that for years. When you're done showering, if you could please squeegee. Squeegee? Why would I do this? I'm gonna get clean now naked. I gotta look for some weird wand that's been living in your shower and wipe shower pellets off while my balls hit the tile. Why, why would I do this? Do I work here? What? I don't stay with nobody. <laughs> Even the hotels. I don't trust the hotels. As soon as I check into a hotel, a do not disturb hangs off the hook for the amount of time I'm there. What, you think I'm dumb? You think I'm dumb? 
Gonna have the maid come in and steal everything that I got? <laughs> Wash out my glasses with some dirty panties? Forget it. <laughs> Nobody's getting into my room. Nobody. That coffee machine that lives in the, uh, the bathroom? I throw that out. Who the hell is making coffee next to the toilet? <laughs> I don't know how my wife puts up with me. My wife's completely opposite than me. Come from two different families. My wife loves people, loves people. Loves to go out to dinner with another couple. I can't take it. I can't even fake it. <laughs> I gotta act like I like the guy. <laughs> no, no, I, the mortgage business. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. But my wife comes home with activities for us to do. She met a couple. She's like, you got to meet this couple. They invited us to their house for a dinner party. Now, in my head, I'm like, that sounds terrible. <laughs> but I'm a married man. You got to act like you like this stuff sometimes. I got to go, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Saturday night, my night off? Yeah, love to go. <laughs> All strangers? Everybody's going to be a stranger? So we get in the car, and she's promoting a couple. It's her couple. She's like, you're gonna love these two. She's an interior designer. He's a stay-at-home dad. Huh? <laughs> I didn't grow up with the stay-at-home dad culture. I come from an immigrant Italian family. You, yeah. yeah. Italians don't do this. You rarely hear a woman go, no, Anthony's at home with the kids. <laughs> Hasn't worked in years. He just loves watching Peppa Pig and going to the zoo with the kids. 